The Engine Research Laboratory is focusing on development of various alternative fuels such as biodiesel, utilization of alcohol fuels in new combustion concepts and also existing fuels such as compressed natural gas, gasoline, diesel, etc. The idea was to explore whether they can be utilized in a better way using new combustion concepts. These are some of the areas where the lab is trying to increase the efficiency, develop new combustion concepts and utilize the fuel in a much better and more efficient manner. We are trying to reduce the environmental impact of these fuels, so if alternative fuels are used, the carbon dioxide emission is low, and therefore the environmental impact and carbon footprint will be lower. Apart from this, the lab is also trying to develop several exhaust gas after treatment technologies and also develop new combustion concepts such as laser ignition of methane air mixture, laser ignition of hydrogen air mixture, and HCCI, which has very low carbon footprint as well as very low environmental impact. We have been working on the state-of-the-art engine technology and are trying to understand the effect of biofuels on new engine technologies and are also looking at Euro 4 engines and its compatibility with biodiesel. Other than this, we are trying to utilize alcohol fuels such as ethanol, methanol and butanol in new combustion concepts such as HCCI. ERL is also developing diesel HCCI as well as gasoline HCCI in our laboratory. In our lab we are trying to ignite the hydrogen air mixtures using laser and that is one of the first of its kind of project where we are trying to implement uh, laser ignition technology in hydrogen air mixtures. Hydrogen has several uh, issues when you use conventional engine technology and we are hoping that with use of laser ignition we will be able to eliminate many of those problems which are reported and we hope that we will be successfully able to develop a hydrogen fueled engine which is ignited by laser in the next two years. This technology has already been successfully developed at IIT Kanpur and the fuel which has been used for development of this technology is compressed natural gas. So we are very hopeful that this project will be a big success. The lab has done the closed loop control of HCCI engine, which is a major breakthrough as far as the development of HCCI engine is concerned. Several fuels of HCCI combustion have been used like different types of alcohol, diesel fuels, biodiesel HCCI and gasoline HCCI. The lab has developed an electronic fuel injection locomotive for Indian Railways which has made India the fourth region in the world to have this technology. This is an indigenous project where the mechanical fuel injection system of a diesel locomotive has been converted to electronic fuel injection system, which gives excellent flexibility for the fuel injection in the engine, leading to a 4% fuel saving for the locomotive and 70% reduction in carbon emission from the engine. It is economical and translates to about 400 crores of diesel saving for Indian railways. The lab has developed a biofuel operated car which runs on 100% biodiesel. We have developed uh, a biofuel operated car which can run on biodiesel 100%. And we have done this project for uh, one of the major automotive OEMs of India and this project was completed in 2007 and with this the automotive industry of India which was earlier very skeptical about use of biodiesel in the vehicles became more uh, amenable and they accepted biodiesel as one of the pot uh, potential fuels. We have designed and manufactured a low-cost biodiesel pilot plant to help semi-skilled people to learn to operate the plant with two days of training. This can be put in villages which will make them self-reliant. People can bring in their vegetable oil and take biodiesel for their applications. The cost of the plant is less than 10 lakhs and the payback period is less than 18 months. The technology has already been transferred to KVIC, Khadi and Village Industries Commission and uh, they are in the process of setting up many of these plants in rural areas in order to make them more energy self-reliant. The lab also has the unique facility of looking at exhaust particles in a very refined manner. 
we look at particles from 5 nanometers to 560 nanometers with high concentration and try to compare the particulate emissions from different fuels, different engine technologies and different vehicles. The investigations carried out have startling revelations about particulate behavior. We have also stressed on understanding the toxicology of the particulate when they come out into the environment. The research was supported by Department of Science and Technology and the results have been appreciated. The first 10 years was more about developing state-of-the-art lab and now our lab in next five years will be geared more towards fundamental research where we will be employing various laser-based and microsensor-based technologies to, to the engines in order to understand the combustion much better and also in order to um, uh, reduce the formation of pollutants as well as control of pollutants once they come out of the engine. Engine Research Lab has a very unique facility of single cylinder optical research engine where we can design and do experiments with changing various parameters which are otherwise not possible in a conventional research engine. Here uh, we have the facility of uh, doing the engine endoscopy that is we can insert the endoscope into the belly of the engine and look at what is going on inside the combustion chamber of the engine. And we also have full optical access, that means we can put lasers through the cylinder and we can see what is happening inside the uh, combustion chamber on a time resolved basis. So these are very unique facilities and in next five years time we are going to employ many of the uh, physics techniques such as particle imaging, velocimetry, uh, laser induced incandescence, laser induced fluorescence technique, uh, holographic um, PIV techniques in the engines and uh, we will hopefully be coming out with some new answers. Mm -hmm.